So, how do you like these lights? You know, they can do much more than you see right now. Let me show you. One needs to be set to Wi-Fi, another needs to be set to slave, and then you connect them to your smartphone and check this out. <laughs> or you can do this, just simply change the colors as you want. You can change the brightness, saturation, or simply you change from the taxon to daylight. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Denis. Welcome to another video. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Of course, if you're gonna like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And in case if you're new here, your sub will be much appreciated. So today we will take a closer look to the GVM 800D RGB LED panels. I know there are many RGB lights on the market right now. Heck, even I have plenty of them. Just let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, and few others. About two months ago, I went to my friend's studio where I saw this exact model of GVM RGB LED lights. And I got in love with them. So what can I do? I simply ordered them. They arrived and the fun started right after that. I've used them on a few different sets and also where you will see I faked the fire on the Christmas video. What I like with these panels is, although they come with power adapter, you have option to power them via NPF batteries. Let's say that you are outdoor, you want to record something or you have the photo shooting and you need extra light. You simply insert the batteries in it and power them on, as you can see. Wait, you don't have NPF batteries? Link will be in the description. Moving on, while we are at the back of the panel, there are a few buttons. On the right side is the power button. Now when it's on zero, of course the light is off. When you push it to one, it's powered by electricity. And when it's on two, the power goes from batteries. Now if you don't have batteries and it's connected directly to the wall, light will act as turned off if you set to two. Same goes if batteries are inserted and not into wall, when you press on one, lights will be just off. In the middle, we have two rotation buttons, and one of them acts also like push button, which I will tell you more about it in a few seconds. Then we have Wi-Fi reset slash mode button, and as last of buttons are up and down. Left from them is big and bright LCD screen with all of the necessary information. And what is the RGB light in these days without application? GVM easily, as the company named this application, is actually really easy to use. And the best of it is that you can control multiple lights at the same time. All you have to do is to set one light to master and all others to slave. Connect them with your phone to their Wi-Fi and kabam, you're ready to go. You can set any color that you like from the app, but you can't use any presets that are in the light. And I strongly hope that GVM will do some updates about that so we can control also the presets. So guys from GVM, if you are watching this video, now you know what you need to do. As you saw at the beginning of this video, there are multiple ways how to use these lights. I also recommend these lights to anyone who have small space and want to record the videos inside but still need extra light. Usually when my friends ask me what lights they should buy, my first question to them is how much space they have. And in most cases we end up with LED lights. And in all cases where RGB is required, I definitely from now on can recommend this from GVM. Now let me know in the comments below what are your favorite lights and why. In the meantime, if you are looking for some good RGB LED lights and you are right about to buy them, I'm gonna leave the links in the description below. And we came to an end. If you enjoyed in this video, make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel, smash that bell button, and until the next time, stay in love. Peace.